Hi guys, welcome back to the Knitting Expat Podcast channel. This is going to be a bit of a introduction, I guess, to this whole vlog type video that we're going to be doing. It may end up being a couple of videos, it may just be one. At this particular point in time, I'm not entirely sure how long this video is going to be. So, as you can probably tell from the title, this is a bit of a house project video. We are focusing mainly today in this particular video on Layla's room. I've kind of been document documenting here and there bits and pieces of the process so far with her room and like redoing it. We're obviously redoing a big chunk of the house. Um, we're basically redoing uh, our house is over four floors. Um, so we've got a lower ground floor, ground first, and then the attic. So we're actually doing the ground and first floor is what we're tackling right now. The majority of those areas. Um, it's mainly cosmetic. It's basically we got all the walls replastered and we're getting the walls painted and ceilings, of course. And then Perry and I, my husband and I, we're going to be tackling sanding and finishing all the floors in those areas, as well as all the staircases and the corridor areas in our house. So big job big project there's been a few other little bits here and there that we've had to deal with as well um that had to been had to have been that we had to tackle there we go words <laughs> and um and then yeah of course once we've done all of that then we've got to get everything settled back in decorate a little bit um sort of like add the finishing touches new light fixtures new curtains blinds things like that so um in this video like i said we're going to be mainly focused on layla's room just because trying to keep track of everything and film everything was just a bit too much for me and i've got so many other things going on as well i thought you know what i can focus on one room and my main aim has always been to get layla's room finished as much as possible by the time she starts school and she's starting school actually i don't know when this video is going up because by the time this video goes up she might have already started school who knows but the day i'm recording this is the 29th of july and she starts school in like five weeks and i'm just she starts big school in about five weeks and i don't even know how that's happened how we got here like i'm just anyway like don't wanna i'm gonna start crying if i think about it for too much anyway um at this particular by this particular point what we've done so far in her, her room's been completely plastered and we've already gone ahead and sanded and finished the floors in her room her room was a bit of a test case for us to see if it's actually something we could reasonably manage on our own and actually it wasn't as bad as we'd expected um so we're actually pretty comfortable with doing the sanding and the rest of the house ourselves and when I say ourselves ourselves I mean it's going to be predominantly Perry doing the heavy stuff I'll be helping with like the finishing the varnishing and some other bits and pieces where I can um just because of my back and the issues that I have with my back there's only so much I can do um so but between the two of us we'll get it done and yes yeah, so we're actually really happy about being able to do that ourselves because it's going to be so much less money than paying someone to do it and actually it's actually a little bit less stressful as well because if you pay a company to come and do it yes they can do it and they do it great and they do it quickly but like what do you do with all your furniture like we were literally at the point where we were considering okay well there's a certain amount of like okay we do this side of the, the these rooms first and we move stuff and do the other rooms and things like that but then there's still some things that we would be like we're gonna probably have to get a storage unit and get all this stuff out the house and it's just it was just getting a bit intense um so actually doing it ourselves means we can take up we can take our time we can do it room by room and then you know we have time to be able to just empty out a room do that over a few days put the stuff back in and then move on to the next area sort of thing rather than having a company come in and try and tackle the whole thing in a matter of like two weeks which would be great to just get it done and over with but um not great in the sense that um you know what you do with all your stuff i like, guess it's just a lot more stress it's one of those things that had things worked out differently had we had more money all those sorts of things we would have bought the house moved into a rental for a couple of months gone all this work done while the house was empty and then moved back in that you know obviously would have been the easiest the quickest way of dealing with it it's not easiest more expensive but the quickest way of dealing with all this stuff but Alas, that is not how it's worked out. Anyway, Layla's room. Like I said, floors are done, walls are sand, walls are plastered. Our painters, we did hire painters, are starting on Monday. 
um, again that was something we were considering for a time that we were going to do ourselves and had it just been walls and ceilings I would have done it I would have done it and it would have been mostly me because Perry's too busy with work but the thing that really made me be like actually kind of want to hire someone to do it is just the miles and miles of woodwork that needs painting skirtings doors window frames other little bits and pieces the staircases and things like that I'm just like I don't want to deal with it I really don't I know I would get bored and then things would get a little bit sloppy and it wouldn't be neat and it's just not what either of us want and because Perry can't help me well he can't guarantee that how much time he'd be able to spend helping me it would mostly be on me to do and I'm already so far behind with my work and I'm, I was falling really far behind at this particular point a few weeks ago I was like I just can't I can't <laughs> I just, it's just not possible um either I work or I have to like basically stop working for the rest of the year and focus on house projects so like what is it which one are we gonna do um so in the end we decided just to hire professionals get the paint job done properly and then in the future if we need to change anything or do any touch-ups we can do those things ourselves I'm still gonna actually paint my office myself I'm not gonna hire the painters to do it I'm happy to do that myself but I'm gonna wait until the rest of the house is painted before I paint up here just because we're gonna end up using this space in the attic to store stuff when things need to get moved around okay so all that preamble out the way I have just a bit of a heads up as to where we are and during this time I've been planning sort of what things I want to do in Layla's room decor wise um, and I've started purchasing a few bits here and there for these projects so I thought I would share with you what these ideas I have are the one main thing that we're going to do in her room is going to be a bit of a feature is um, but she's got two built-in cupboards on either side of what used to be a fireplace that's now been closed up um, and previously they had shelving between the two cupboards we took the shelving down and what we're going to do i'm going to do something else instead of that shelving but also we're getting the cupboards um replaced so we've got a carpenter coming in a couple of weeks he's going to be replacing the cupboards replace because they're really flimsy especially the doors the actual unit itself is fine it's just the frontage is really not practical so he's going to basically come in fix it all up make it what we want it to be basically and then um, I'm gonna paint it and then I'm gonna um, put in the shelving. Instead of shelves, I'm gonna use these wooden crates. And I've only bought five so far because then once her room's been painted and we put her radiator back in, we're actually getting new radiators for all the rooms that we're doing. Um, and once her radiator's gone in, I need to measure up to see how many of these crates I can put in. And so my plan is, you can see there's a bunch of acrylic paint in there, I'm planning on painting them in rainbow colours because the whole theme for Layla's room is rainbows. So if you didn't know, my daughter loves rainbows. Yes, she is my child. Um, and if you don't know, I also love rainbows. So <laughs> I've got a bunch of different rainbow colours in there. There's actually 13 paints because my original thought was I'd done the original calculations based on the height of and the space the size of that space forgetting the fact that a radiator has to go in there so <laughs> um, based on my initial calculations 13 of these crates would have fitted in the way that I was planning but now I think it's going to have to be it's probably going to be less than that in the end but I do have 13 different colors so it's fine I can narrow it down not a problem and yeah so my, my original thinking was to paint both the inside and the outside of the of the crates but I'm thinking I'm probably just going to paint the insides and then like the edge but not the outside of the crates so we'll see how that goes I haven't 100% committed to that idea but I know each each like crate each box is going to be one color so when they're all put together there's going to be like a, a rainbow of these crates which would be quite fun and then in keeping with the rainbow theme, this is something I've been wanting to get her for a while and I wanted to get it for her when she was younger, but they were so expensive. And not to say they're not worth it, but they were so expensive. And then I found one for a relatively decent price on um, on eBay. So I nabbed it. One of these rainbow um, stacking toys. And it's made of wood as well. So I thought that'd be really fun. And they all go uh, this it'll fit quite nicely quite perfectly actually inside one of these on her wall so again I thought because these crates are going to act as shelving in her room basically because we're not putting any shelves up other than these um, 
so yeah so that's gonna be really fun looking forward to getting that one in there oh and i also i have an old set of matryoshka dolls those stacking nesting dolls and mine's a very sort of traditional russian style one um, she loves playing with it, but it's really old and some of the paint's starting to chip off and stuff like that. So I wanted to get her her own one that's a little bit more kid-friendly. She's less likely to be able to break it and things like that. So I got her this really cute, it's, it's actually a silicon one. It's actually meant for like babies so they can chew on it. But I just thought it was really cute. And it's got like a pastel sort of purple, then it's a pink and like an orange and a little green one on the inside. So I just thought it was really cute, kind of in the rainbow theme and again something cute to put on her rainbow shelves so i just wanted to get a few newish things for her to play around with so those ones she hasn't seen but this in this box she's actually already seen and played with quite a bit and i got a set of these little wooden peg dolls again these were things i've been looking for for ages and i just couldn't find them let alone how much they cost but i couldn't find them anywhere until i finally found these ones um really really cute and they're a really good size for her to hold as well and even for like a younger child they're not so small that i'd be worried about them putting it in their mouth or anything like that so there's 12 in there and again in keeping with the rainbow theme i was thinking about like again on the shelving wanting to have some toys on display but wanting to keep them within the somewhat within the theme of the room so that'll be for that too so one of the things I want to make for her room, so I have a few ideas of things that I want to make as decor in her room as well. One of them is like a wall hanging with um, yarn just hanging from it and I was going to do it as like a rainbow. And then she can use that to like clip all her hair clips onto because she has like a ton of different hair clips and stuff. So I got some wooden dowels. I could only get a pack of 10 even though I only need like what one, maybe two for another, one more for another thing. but. Hey, I have a ton of wooden dowels now for other projects. Um, so I got some wooden dowels for that. And the other thing I wanted to make for her decor wise was a macrame rainbow wall hanging. So I got some rope to wrap to use for the, it'll make sense when you see it and I will film the process of making that as well. But then to go with the dowels and the uh, rope for the macrame, I have to get some yarn, of course, to use for those um, wall hangings. So I placed an order with Lovecrafts a few weeks ago now, actually, and they had a sale on some of their cotton and some of their other yarns as well. But I was just looking for their, looking at their cotton yarns for Layla's room, for stuff for Layla's room. And yeah, so I got a bunch of different colours. Let's get them out in the right order. So I only got six instead of the obligatory seven for rainbows, but I think I think she'll be fine. She's quite she's quite a stickler for rainbows. Like if if there's a pink in a rainbow instead of a red, she'd be like, Where's the red? Why is there no red? Um, why is there pink in a rainbow? There's no pink in rainbows. That's like basically what she keeps saying. And if someone tries to tell her there's pink in a rainbow, that she will she will correct them. Like she's like, no, there's no pink in rainbows. And I also got a few in this sort of uh, creamy taupey color. Um, the brand is Yarn and Colors. I guess it's like one of their own um, own brands, maybe from Lovecraft. I'm not actually sure. They come in 50 gram balls. It's cotton. 100% mercerized cotton, 50 grams, um, 125 meters per skein. So yeah, I'm gonna use these to wrap around the rope to make the macaroon rainbow and for the wall hanging with the dowels. And the creamy taupe ones I'm gonna be using as part of the rainbow one. I'm thinking of turning them into little pom-poms and then creating little pom-pom clouds at the bottom edges of the rainbow like I said it'll make sense when you see it I don't know if it makes sense when I'm explaining it to you um for other things in her room like right now oh she doesn't actually have any right now we took the curtains down but she did have curtains in her room now we need to replace them and we're not sure whether we're going to do curtains again or blinds but um I got 
cute pom-pom garlands and these are rainbow themed ones. I haven't actually opened these up so just Oh. Okay, that's interesting. I thought <laughs> I thought it was a garland, but turns out I bought string and just pom poms, and it comes with a darning needle. So I'm guessing you just have to string them up yourself, which actually is fine because then it can mean uh, you can adjust it how you want. And that's actually not the worst thing because I did buy I bought three sets of these, so that means I could actually do one really long one. To go on her wall or something if we don't end up using curtains because i got these with the idea that i could use them as tie backs for curtains in her room because her curtains are going to be or blinds are going to be a um, neutral color because everything else in her room's pretty rainbow her walls are going to be painted neutral and her so and her curtains or blinds are going to be neutral so it's really just all the decor is color that way as she gets older if she changes her mind wants to change up the decoration in her room a little bit we don't necessarily have to repaint anything <laughs> like everything the base is fairly neutral and then everything else adds all the color um other things that i got the only other thing i have to share at the moment is this which we actually got when we went on our most recent um our last uh trip away with perry's parents we went on a family trip with my in-laws and in one of the shops when Layla and I went out one day we we saw this and I'm not entirely sure if this is actually going to go in her room or not it might go in the garden instead I don't think we're going to have like somewhere safe to hang it but we saw this in a shop and I fell in love with it and Layla fell in love with it and so we decided to get it and I said if I could find a way to make it work we would hang it up in her room by the window if not it will go in the garden down near where her slide and swing set are and it's this beautiful sort of rainbow wind chime and it's just it's just really nice so yeah that's gonna hopefully go in her room but more likely it's gonna go in the garden just we'll just have to see how things work out in her room when everything gets set up um and yeah we already bought her we got her a rug for her room which is actually already in there i haven't filmed it yet but that came earlier this week but i'll probably there'll be a snippet of that at some point as well so yeah this is kind of the introduction to the video so i guess i haven't shown you anything else yet I, I'm, I'm a little bit unsure about what order things are happening in at the moment so in terms of the editing and stuff because I haven't even started editing this yet but I think this intro is going to go first it's actually been very long it's been 18 minutes already so hopefully I can cut down my rambling just a tiny bit and um and then yeah so roll on all the clips and footage of us doing up her room okay hi guys voiceover Mina here so um, I thought I'd talk you through what we're going to be seeing first up is a photo of what Layla's room looked like when we first moved in sorry that just went by a bit quicker than I expected um, so yeah when we first moved in I got her room set up pretty quickly and then here you can see Perry was taking the mirror down and now I am starting to strip the wallpaper from Layla's room um, yeah it was pretty labor intensive um, this house project has been going on for quite a while now now that beginning intro clip was um, I say clip it was like 18 minutes long it was quite long um, sorry about that that was filmed at the very end of July on the 29th of July and these clips are from the beginning of or early June um, yeah actually it must have been the very beginning of June or end of May yeah, beginning of June very early June is are these clips where I'm stripping the wallpaper I put a mask on here because uh, this bit of the wall at the bottom there you can see the wall was a bit crumbly and we weren't sure what was behind it so put a mask on just in case um, there was something nasty back there but it turns out there was nothing that bad so um, I actually take it off pretty soon after um, but yeah so stripping the wallpaper thankfully Layla's room wasn't too bad there was um, it was just like pebble dash type wallpaper stuff which actually came off pretty easily um, and this not on this wall but the other walls there was actually two layers of wallpaper this one only had one layer not sure but the other one had 
like some really vintage wallpaper underneath which you'll see in a second but uh yes yeah, so i was busy away working away in layla's room on this particular day and perry was i think he was working in the corridor at the time trying to strip the wallpaper in the staircases which was an absolute nightmare he did he did the best he could to be quite honest it was so many layers thick and then it had been painted over as well so um it was definitely a lot of hard work um but yeah like i said so we actually started we moved in in may early may and we started renovation projects in early june like i said we started by stripping all the wallpaper we had a plasterer come in shortly after to do the plastering which we'll get to that bit in a second but most of this video is going to be focused on stuff we did in layla's room so you can see there while perry and i are busy working layla is lounging on our bed watching her ipad because well it was a weekend and we needed to keep her occupied somehow whilst we were busy doing these other jobs um so yeah back to me stripping more wallpaper <laughs> I promise it doesn't go on forever. I have sped these video clips up a lot. Otherwise, we're talking about like hours spent stripping wallpaper. Um, I think on this particular day, I stop after I finish this wall. Now, there's like a strip of blue right next to the door frame, which actually isn't wallpaper. I don't know what, what must have happened at some point. They must have ripped up the wallpaper to, like, I think, run a channel for the light switch or something to run elect electrical wires down to the light switch and just didn't. Put wallpaper back there and just painted it i don't know this whole house has a bunch of like odd diy choices let's say um but we're glad that we're addressing a lot of these issues now thankfully nothing too serious most of the things that we've been dealing with have been cosmetic um you know there's no we did have like a really good survey done before we moved in so no risk of walls falling down or anything Okay, I had to leak the audio in on that clip with the wallpaper stripping. It was just so satisfying. Um, so yeah, this is what I found under Layla's uh, last walls that I had to strip. Um, some really, I thought, pretty awesome vintage wallpaper. Uh, so here's her room, completely cleared of wallpaper. Again, that back wall was just blue. It wasn't wallpaper. Um, and yeah, so here there were some blown bits of plaster, which the plasterer had to take out. And you can see the original like laugh and plaster um that the house is constructed with most places he then patched it up with a plasterboard and fixed it um so here's actually just her ceiling has been done at this point i didn't manage to get clips everything along every step of the way so this is her room after it was finished and we took the carpet out of her room because then the next step was to tackle her floors so here you can see all the finished plastering is all dried it's all nice and freshly done um now we were trying to decide whether we could do the floors ourselves in the whole in the house or if we wanted to hire it out and I, obviously doing it ourselves would be cheaper but it will take longer which we were fine with it was more a case of trying to figure out if it was actually something we could comfortably manage ourselves without it being too difficult so we decided to do Layla's room as a bit of a test case to see how things go so here you can see the room partially done and now Perry's running over it again. We had um, one of Perry's friends came to help him out that day because I was actually working. It was a weekend day. We managed to get Layla off to my parents for the weekend so we could do this and not have much in the way of distractions. And yeah, so this was what it looked like after the second pass. And now Perry's doing the third pass with with the sanders so yeah we, we had really good sanders there was very minimal like dust involved they have like these really good vacuums on them these days it seems so there was very little to no dust at all although we did happen to pick the hottest weekend of the year so far at the time i can't actually remember when this was this must have been like early july um or middle of july at this point i've forgotten already <laughs> 
Oh, geez, it's been such a such a long summer with all the all these house projects. And then here it looks once it had the final sand. There's a few dark patches left, but there was only so much that we could do with the boards that were there. Thankfully, Layla's room didn't need any boards replacing, really. I mean, there were a couple that would have been nice to change, but we didn't have any replacement boards at this particular time. And so here I'm, I am laying the first coat of primer for the for the floor, like the, the lacquer, sorry. And, um, and then Perry comes in and helps doing some of the edging while I do the roller. Um, and yeah, so we ended up going with this Bonner Natural uh, primer. It's kind of, it doesn't really change the colour, but it kind of, I mean, it does a little bit. It, it kind of lightens the wood colour a little bit. Um, just enough, because I just really don't like it when wood, like, goes orange. Um, I like it to be a more natural sort of pine colour. So this, here it is after the first coat of primer has dried. And we've got to do a second coat. And this time Perry started with the edging first before I got going with the roller just to make things a bit easier. But it went down pretty pretty well. It wasn't too hard. Each coat took us about 20 minutes, I think, if that, to do. I think the hardest part was just dealing with the heat. It was very hot that weekend when we did this. Um, but yeah, the actual coating of everything was fine. Um, it was funny because I was actually teaching with... Um, Vogue Knitting Live this particular weekend so it was like in, like before my class let's get a coat done after class let's do another coat and then do another one a bit later in the evening sort of thing so it was trying to work out the timings so so that we did it at the appropriate intervals I think it's like every three hours you have to put a coat on until it's like done and so here it is after the second coat and then I think now we're ready to do the final top coat for the varnish so you can see how the woods like a lot lighter now which is basically what I wanted but it doesn't look like it's been painted which wasn't what we wanted so um, so yeah it turned out really well in the end and now we're just putting a clear top coat on um, again Perry going ahead with the <laughs> with the edges and stuff and then I follow after with the roller get most of the most of the coverage done that way um, yeah so this was a big task for us to see how this would go. Thankfully, it went really well. It wasn't too complicated. We learned a lot from having done Layla's room. And, you know, there were a couple of things we would have done differently if we were to do it again. So we know that going forward for the rest of the house. But we are very happy with how her room has turned out in terms of the floors at the moment. And, uh, yeah, so that's it for right now. At the moment that I'm recording this audio, it is the 9th of September. So... <laughs> It's quite a while after all of this has happened, but uh, we've actually made further progress on Layla's room and other parts of the house. So there'll probably be another vlog coming next week, probably um, after this video goes up, just showing the next stage of progress in the rest of the house and some other bits that we're doing. And here it is after the top coat while it's still a bit wet. And then I think I have a couple of photos coming up with yeah, just showing the finished floor after it had dried. The comparison with the hallway to Layla's room. And then we also got Layla a rainbow rug, which was she was very happy about. Yep, and she fell asleep on it. <laughs> so I will leave it there for now. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.